Hey everybody, welcome back to Truth Be Told, La Verdad de Dios. I pray you're ready to uncover the truth of God today and ready to expose Satan's lies in your life. I pray this with all my heart and soul in Jesus' name, amen. I hope you're all ready, okay, because this message is entitled, Are You Ready? Are you ready to have the lies of Satan exposed in your life once and for all, to break generational curses, to be free? Yo, this says the word of you, the truth of God will set you free, right? So we need to do three things See, because God has already done everything he's going to do. It's up to us now to walk into the blessings, to receive what God has for us. I want to show you something. When we, when we hold on to stuff, we have a closed fist, right? How can you receive something? If I want to give you a present, you have to come with open hands to receive it. We got, we're holding on to things that we don't need to hold on to. And this is why we can't receive the truth of God. So if you're ready, this is the first thing we have to do. We must have a desire to expose the lies and darkness of Satan in our lives. Listen, I mean, a lot of us say that we want to let go of we're, we want to let go of certain things, but we don't. We're not ready to uncover that dirt. We want to keep sweeping it under the rug. If you're ready to clean house, honey, well, this message is for you. So that's the first thing you need to do. Have the desire to expose. You got to say, I'm tired of having my house look like this. I'm going to clean house today. And you know what happens when you get ready? You put on some music, you put on your bandana, you get into war mode. So this is what we're going to do. We have to have the desire to expose the lies in our life. That's the first thing. The second thing is that we have to confirm what the word of God says. That's your job, right? So this is going to be the hardest part. The third thing is that once you confirm what the word of God says about your situation, you got to be willing to let it go. You got to be willing to decide that moment that this is what the word of God says. And this is what I've been believing. These are my traditions. This is what I believed all my life. But the word of God says something different. So you got to choose. This is the choice right here. Are you going to believe what God says? He's the truth. He's the way, right? Or are you going to believe what you got to say? Listen, if you guys are leaning to what you're saying, and you want to justify it. I'm telling you right now, eh, wrong answer. This is the only way. God's way is the only way, the truth, okay? So you have to make a decision right then and there to let go of what you believe and to obey and follow what God says. That's it. Once you've made that decision, those are the three steps that you have to take, right? You have to have a desire and be ready to change your life and, and then confirm what the word of God says and then do what it says. And if it does, if you if you've been believing, what you've been believing is aligned with God, then good, you're good. You don't got to change anything, right? But if you see that what you've been believing or how you've been acting goes against what God says, then baby girl, just let it go. Let it go and do what God says, right? Say yes to God's truth. Break every stronghold and curse that has been holding you back all your entire life, right? And remember that God's word expresses his will, his nature, his character, and his promises. It's all in the word. I pray that you just are ready to let go. Oh, come with open hands to receive the gift that God has for you because he's got some good gifts for you, okay? Yes, thank you. I am on, oh, hallelujah. I am on Repented Road and Truth Trail. Truth Trail. <laughs> Where you at? Holla.